What I would like to show to you today is um, our demonstration of a flexible AMOLED display that you can see over here. What you see here is um, a display that we made on a foil. And as you can see, the result is a fully flexible display. It is very thin. I can show you over here one that I can keep in my hand. You can see it's very, very thin. I'll tell you a bit about how we have made this display. What we do, we start with a foil that we have bonded onto a carrier. Because you can imagine, if you want to make a display, you have to stack several layers on top of each other. One of the things that is very important is mechanical stability. We have to make sure that when we, once, uh, we actually, once we put the layers on top of each other, that we can guarantee that the layers are aligned in the proper way. Well, what we do here is, um, as I told you, we put the layers on top of each other. The first layer is actually the foil itself that we laminate onto the carrier. Then we process a barrier. Because the problem with processing the whole display onto a foil is that the foil itself is not a barrier. Normally, when you make displays on the glass, the glass acts as a barrier against water and moisture. So, what we do here, we have the barrier. On top of the barrier, we process what we call the backplane. So that is the actual pixel electronics. Then on top of the backplane, we process the OLED, the actual light emitting layer. Then again, on top of the OLED, we put a, bar a barrier, which is transparent, because the light goes out in this direction. Well, the whole, the result of this is a very thin display. Again, I would like to point you to this one. You see, it's fully flexible, and in the end, it is a very thin display that we can bend.